Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Empire Total War Prussian Glory. Um, probably going to be cutting back on these because uh, it doesn't seem to be as popular, but I will be continuing these episodes, these, uh, this series because there were a few positive comments. Um, let's see, we were looking uh, towards the east. I'm definitely going to continue with the. Uh, Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn off my monitor here. Hold on a second. Uh, we were uh, looking towards moving east. And like I said, uh, I'm talking about two different things. I'm trying to do a third thing right now, actually. So, sorry. Um, first, let's talk about channel. Okay, so, um, yeah, definitely keep up uh, this series because it didn't seem to be too popular but uh, there were some positive comments out there so we'll keep the series going uh, somewhat uh, I'm probably gonna focus more on um, uh, geopolitical simulator like always and making history of the great war which seems pretty popular on the channel um, we'll be doing a uh, live stream for geopolitical simulator 4 as well uh, I think I'm probably on Saturdays Saturday mornings as well as continuing twitch maybe Sunday evenings I'm thinking something like that Anyways, uh, enough of that, and I should focus on the actual game here, shouldn't I? So, yeah, so I think we're at the end of this turn. Um, and I'm taking a look at Corland, and let's get a general over here diplomatically real quick. Everybody's at war with us. Not everyone. Three major countries are at war with us, along with, I think, almost all the German states are at war with us. So Poland, Lithuania, Austria, Great Britain, uh, most of the German states, like I said... Uh, Bavaria. Actually, made peace with Hanover. That's good. Westphalia. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, Wurttemberg is still. Yeah, our territorial tor territorial tor expansion is reducing. So that will give us some leeway, somewhat, um, diplomatically, hopefully. Switzerland is our only current ally. Of course. Um, we're not requesting that they join any of the wars, we just want to keep them neutral and on the sidelines so we don't have to deal with them. Uh, the Ottomans, we have a uh, friendly relationship with them in a trade agreement. Same with the Maratha Confederacy, that's good that we converted to the Maratha Confederacy because um, the Mughal Empire never lasts in these games. We re restore the trade route with uh, Hanover, which gives us 3300 in income total. <laughs> My issue is... That's not what I want. That's what I want. I don't know where to attack next. Um, this province will hold and continue to grow, which is good. We're growing in wealth here. And resistance is being reduced. I'm also increasing population, which I think is actually critical because... Um, that's going to give us a trade port right there, and we need that trade port. Who is this? Alright. We'll need that trade port to expand, uh, having more trading partners overseas, um, which would allow us to, uh, bring in more income and improve diplomatic relations. The Austrians have moved into Bavaria. Massive movement into Bavaria. They have huge armies here. I don't know what to do with that. Hopefully, uh, I'm not going that way. I was planning on going Bavaria, actually. That was my invasion route. Vienna is, like, wide open. Um, but we're definitely not in range to attack it. And we're still restoring troops here. And there are two Bavarian armies in Bohemia. Here we're restoring troops. What happened to my guys here? What? No way. Why? Why? Is there a reason? I don't want to leave Brandenburg completely wide open. Why did I do that? I do not recall. Move at least two back. I know there's a large uh, citizenry contingent 
But what? Are you crazy? I don't have any money. Maybe I was thinking I would uh, recruit more militia there. Because this is the group that I do want to send out. I'd like to have them have some more cavalry, but where to send them? I don't know if I want to send them out anymore, actually. We might just try to hold the ground. Because I was thinking about attacking Corlin. Because if you attack Corlin and knock them out... I can't do any replenishment here. Let's hit the turn. Alright, I did an overview. So if I can attack Corlin and knock them out, the thing about attacking Men of Powers is... Each country gets $3,000 worth of income, so if you take out that minor power, that's $3,000 extra that your enemies are getting. So, you know, regardless of the fact that they're just a minor power, it is a big contribution to your total aggregate foes, so to speak. If that makes sense. Uh, Sweden is in the Adriatic. Looks like England and France are still at war with each other, duking things out on the high seas. For the most part, and uh, hopefully the French will contain any British uh, naval movements. Come on, baby! Yeah, I want you to sink that thing. If I get the Swedes to join in too, that would be good. Uh, so I'm kind of rooting for the French, even though they're Catholic and they're pro fighting Protestants. Can you get that guy? You're not, not going to be in range. Alright, so it looks like the French control the uh, English Channel right now, which is good. And the Austrians are advancing. Some of them are moving. They're all over the place. They are scattered. Looks like they've restored Garrison at Vienna. And... Uh, no real... Uh, cohesiveness other than defending Bavaria seems to be oh wow Spain just blockaded England nice and they are moving on the Netherlands I'm okay, I'm good with that oh a duel oh damn uh, this guy looks better with sword fencing so I will choose a pistol I haven't had a duel yet. These duels are funny videos. Um, I'm not going to play them all if we keep doing it, but... Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, I hope that wasn't my guy. Well, one of them died. Was it me or was it them? Don't be my guy. Oh no. Yes, it wasn't mine. <laughs> Polish guy shot himself in the face. Alright, the Ottomans still moving north towards Russia. Did they take Moldova? Who controls Moldova? Is that the Ottomans or the Poles? That'd be good if the Ottomans controlled it. I want to weaken Russia. Russia is a geopolitical enemy. They are fighting Sweden. We want Sweden to be successful. Sweden conquered Denmark. Hanover's next for them. Which would be a problem for me. Eventually. Well, I eventually have to take out Sweden too. Wow. Westphalian army has moved into... has entered the fray. And Varia has laid siege, which means the Saxony army has to go and lift the siege. Pirates. Construction of a Royal Observatory in Brandenburg. That'll give us a lot more wealth. Uh, city besieged at Prague. We knew that. And your opponent was killed. So, you are, you have survived. And I do want to find out, actually, 
a little bit more information. Is they do not have a lot of forces there, Poland and Lithuania. Nor do they have a lot there. So I think an advance into this territory would be a good thing for me. If we can take out their capital, I think that would eliminate their army too, probably. So, first things first, though, I need to replenish these troops. Let's get all of them replenished. 3,600. Ugh, God. Thirty-four, ninety-four. All our wealth to replenish these troops. Our entire income to replenish these guys. I don't think they can reach. What should we call it? That's all we can do on that front for now. In the meantime, we have to lift the siege of Prague. It should not be a problem. Actually, these guys haven't replenished yet, have they? You have to be selective. That should be enough. I wonder if I could have lifted the siege without having to move those guys. Five forty-four. They have one of those. I have one cavalry. They have multiple cavalry generals. One field artillery. They have a lot of cavalry. Let's see how this works. I think it's better this way, actually, because uh, the reinforcements don't come in piecemeal. And I could probably bring in my entire... <clears throat> um, I guess I'll be able to bring in my entire garrison from the fort? Or will there be no fort in this battle, actually? I forgot how the dynamic, how that works with uh, Total War Empire. Prussia is in a tough situation. I am playing on the most difficult level, uh, and on the campaign mode, most difficult level makes diplomacy very difficult. Everyone declares a war on you. Here we are. Yeah, we will. There won't be a fortress in this. In this one. What is that? That is so weird. Where are they coming from? That direction? Well, where can I put my guys? Can I put them right here? I don't know what, where they're coming from. Well, we were taking a hill here. That's weird. That's a weird setup. This attack's gonna come at me. Hold your fire.
Whoa. Almost got him. Overshooting. It's a weird setup. They can't hit these guys. Of course, I've got this whole army here on its way. Should line them up over there. Huge militia army. That thing got hit. We seem to be missing everything still. They still have a long way to go. I say right up against this wall. The entire army right up against that wall, and that general can go right behind him. Perfect. Looks like we're overshooting. There you go. That might help, actually. We got two of them that time. I don't think I've taken any losses yet. Come on, man. Give me a hit. Ooh, right over. Give me a hit. I'm gonna try these guys. Shot. Damn. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna have to move my field artillery into a better position, probably. I didn't even see that, but I saw the horses fall. There's a nice shot. Shot. Nice. This is going to force a retreat of this uh, regiment of horse for certain. Can I get the dragoons? Overshot. One of those generals has retreated outside of our range. I'll definitely be able to take out their cavalry before I advance. At least half their cavalry.
Alright, let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> That cannon's worthless for them. It keeps bouncing right over them. Oh, now they're advancing. Excellent. Finally. Did we take? Oh, we took out one of their artillery pieces. That's why they're advancing. Excellent. Excellent. This general needs to get out of the way. Run. Okay, give me your canister shot. Solid shot and then everybody here. They're not going to last. Alright, that cavalry was repulsed. And I guess my flank is pretty well secured. Three. We're gonna advance these guys right up to there. And put those guys right there. Tree is getting mowed down by that canister shot. Is your issue? General's bodyguard. Definitely repulse their infantry charge. 
let's switch back to solid shot. And resume bombardment of their artillery. Where is their artillery? Right there. I'll concentrate everybody right there, that artillery. I think this uh, infantry is going to launch a second wave. And their general seems to be emerging. It's pretty foolish. Let's cover my flank. I'm going to get shot up pretty good here. Gonna make it over the wall. But we do have our bayonets at this point. This general will probably get killed right away. In the meantime, they still have two active artillery pieces. Enemy general killed. comes another wave, oh that uh, second wave of uh, line infantry on their way, switch to canister, wipe them out, switch this to canister, they're gonna get wiped out, where's my cavalry now, Let's see if we can put these guys to use at all. Fifty-seven. They are forming up their line. They're about to get ready to fire a volley. I think. Uh oh, they're gonna get a volley off on our. Uh, oh man, they got a volley off on our uh, artillery, and now they're running. Wow. Where is that cap? See if you can't run them down and take out that artillery while you're at it. In the meantime, back to concentrating fire on enemy artillery they're down to one gun we took some heavy casualties, that's about half the uh, regiment, we didn't lose any of our guns this is a little risky with the cavalry wish I could spread them out more Fifteen. Got a good chunk of them. I'm gonna see if I can't charge this gun now. See if we get lucky. This is risky. Take out this gun. Got him. Excellent. Oh 
one more guy. Excellent. Now to finish off that uh, line regiment. Beautiful. Now nah, who's coming after us? First regiment of foot, Bavarian army. Canister dodge. Fire. Okay, who's left? General Bodyguard, 5th Regiment of Foot, and one artillery piece. In addition to this unit. Quickly get on that wall. Very quickly. You need cover. And they are flanking us. Militia, 73 Regiment of Foot. Sixty-three from ninety-three. They're taking heavy casualties. The sixth regiment there, but we should be able to put a volley in on them. What else is going on here? Not much. These guys could probably move up to the wall now. That would be very close. Point blank range. Wait, I don't want to do that. Hold your fire. Now I'll do it. Go get organized, get organized. Oh, my God. Get in line. Fire. Seven. How are you taking? How do you take so many casualties?
This is a long battle. This regiment of foot still has not budged, and they're at full strength. But we have taken some heavy casualties right there. I still have numerous forces that I do not want to engage. Militia. Let's bring up some militia. See what they do. Cavalry charge could quickly knock them out. Somewhat concerned about getting shot. Why are you not firing? Absolutely be firing right now. What is going on with these guys? They're down to two guns. Where did, where did they lose a gun? Canister shot. Give me a break. Come on. Solid shot. Solid shot. if I can move them up. That would be a good hill for them to control. Something's blowing up around here. I'm going to put my militia in position and then advance the artillery, I think. So let's speed up a little bit. Get you guys through this episode. Where are we at? Oh my god, 40 minutes already. That almost hit him. We got a shot on that uh, general there. Not hit the 5th Regiment of Foot at all. They're trying to go after the cavalry. Nope, that hill's in the way. That's not gonna work. Alright, here comes our militia. 99. This militia, I'm gonna put right on the hill. Right on that hill. And you guys right below it. And the cavalry might directly charge that gun.
gonna have this artillery move up. Charge. Form up on the wall there, Militia. general up. Maybe that'll help. 120. That militia still holds. Regiment of Foot. Prussian Artillery. See if this works. Seventy eight. Steady wind is slightly losing. And the seventeenth regiment of militia is confident, active, inspired by nearby units. So the sixteenth is taking casualties, but their regiment in the open field is taking more. I don't think we can get ours close enough. Now they're charging. Well, let's bring in the cavalry. I wonder how well they hold up against the wall. On the wall, at least. Charge. Charge. That's what I'm talking about. Militia. And the cavalry. Excellent. Finish them. 19. Cavalry. Yeah, you gotta get them. Okay, that will weaken the Bavarians. Decisive victory. That's going to be it for this episode, I think. Wow. That was a long one. I can do one more this week, maybe. What time is it? Uh, running out of time. Okay. Uh, 
We lost 30, 135. Wow, we deployed 1,700 to their 500. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Nothing at all. Militia did well. Artillery won the battle. 151. That army is dead. Completely wiped out a Bavarian force. And return to the garrison. We did that. Trade gained. Morale battles. These generals are uh, gaining a lot of traits. So that's one thing. That's all I can do this turn, too. And that's all I'm going to do this episode. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next.